I basically uh, started playing golf about 10 years old and uh, fell in love with it, played every day. Uh, and it turned into competing a little bit and playing in tournaments. And I used to love uh, junior tournaments. Mm -hmm. Uh, Don Law was probably the first, um, being a South Florida PGA guy, he got me involved, gave me my first job, and uh, really kind of took me under his wing to uh, to encourage me to go out there and compete. And didn't think it was going to turn into a career with the PGA, but uh, it, it did, and, and I'm thankful for it because I've had some pretty cool opportunities. But uh, uh, I used to stay down here. I'm from Boca Raton originally, and uh, back when I was playing on the SF PGA, there was probably only 10 to 12 events a season. and. When I volunteered this summer and there was a schedule of 36 or so events, it was it was pretty amazing how much it's grown. Right. And, uh, so when I was coming up to graduating high school, um, I had a few offers to play college golf, but uh, I decided there was a program for PGA members at Florida State, right. and uh, you can get your accreditation four years when you graduate college with a university degree. So I figured that um, I wanted to have a career in golf and playing golf for college may not have led to that. So I uh, went to Florida State and through the encouragement of Don Law, um, I had my swing coach growing up, Dan Hager, who was a PGA member, um, Joe Jones at Del, Ray, uh, Del Air Country Club, who I worked for, and then Mike McClellan at Indian Spring. Um, those four were kind of my big mentors and they really encouraged me to, to pursue it. And I'm forever thankful. I've, I've been at some pretty cool places because of yeah. it. Yeah, so uh, I started at Shoal Creek, which is in Birmingham, um, which is a really cool private club there. and. They, my first day, they were like, I was there for an hour, and they said, you're on a tee, you're gonna go play 18 holes. And I was like, really? I was like, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and I played four or five days a week when I was there as an intern for six months. But it was a great experience too. I learned a lot about the business, and that got me enough experience to get an internship at Oakmont, and uh, spent six months there, and same story, just playing a lot of golf, really enjoying the business. Uh, it's very rewarding when you work a full day and you st still sneak out and play nine holes at the end of the day. That, that's really made it fun. Um, and then met Bob Ford there at Oakmont, and he I then graduated from Florida State, and he invited me to come down to Seminole to start working as a caddy, and uh, he kind of takes his staff and promotes them up through the ranks in his system. Um, but I, I figured Bob is one of the biggest figures in the industry. So I, I told my parents, I said, I want to go work for this guy and, and study under him. And I, I haven't left his side since. I've attached myself to him and he, he's taken me everywhere that, that, that I've gotten. And uh, so working with him at Oakmont and, and Seminole uh, got me the opportunity to go work at Shinnecock Hills for one of his former assistants, Jack Druga. And uh, I've loved every minute of it. It's uh, experienced the US Open there and and uh, played a lot of golf with members, met some really cool people, uh, played play with some celebrities. So just that whole thing, it, it's been a, been a fun journey. And uh, hopefully there's many more good places to play, but I, I've hit a few good ones so far in my career. But, uh, you know, I always think when I wake up in the morning and I'm driving to work, it's like the coolest thing that I'm driving to the golf course. And uh, I, I just wouldn't see any other way of, of, you know, nothing else would feel like as fun. Everything would feel like a job. This doesn't feel like a job. and. The members appreciate what we do as PGA members. Um, they enjoy playing golf with us and getting to know us. And uh, I just, I spend 12 hours a day at the golf course and I never feel like I've worked a single minute from the time I get there. So that's what I love most about it. Awesome. And you still play in a lot of section events. What about still being able to be competitive on kind of a professional level? What do you like about that? Yeah, I mean, just getting the bug again to play in tournaments and you know, it's one thing when you play with members and you're you're focused more about what they're doing and less about what you're you're doing. But this summer playing in the section events uh, it was the first time since I was a kid that I could actually practice and play and um, just getting to like the tournament itch again and and uh, the drive to be in, the, in a competition and make every shot count. I think uh, it's like the old juice is going again. So <laughs> I, I really love that and and to be competitive somewhat was was fun and. You know, people reaching out to me saying, you know, hey, good plan, nice job. So they're they're keeping keeping tabs on me too. Right. So it, it was it was cool. It was it was definitely it was my best summer in ten years for that reason. Um, what would you say to a junior golfer who loves golf, is headed on to school, doesn't really know what they want to do? What kind of advice would you give to a junior? Yeah, if they love the game and you know i'd say the other big thing for a pga member uh at least in my position is if you love helping other people and and you have that drive to to, to kind of give service to the game 
um, this is the perfect career for you. It's just, you, you feel so good at the end of the day because you've helped somebody get better at golf or uh, you, you, you know, provide a level of service that made them feel good about themselves in addition to being able to play golf. So it, it's, it's been the most rewarding career path I think I could have chosen. And I think for anybody who lines up with those, um, those goals, this would be a great career.